Last night we had terrible uh, thunderstorms and lightning and uh, the uh, technical part of the show didn't pull off as well as it could have. So this is the same show all over again so I can post it. Uh, in retrospect, I, I probably should have just told everybody that I couldn't do it, but we tried. So here we are, my live art show part two. Our first item tonight is called Afterthought. Afterthought is from the yoga series, and it is built up of a few different yoga poses by the same model. What I like about it is it's printed on uh, metalized paper, so what you get is really deep, deep, deep blacks in the shadow areas and really nice highlights, so it's a very contrasty piece. It makes it look metal itself, almost like a piece of jewelry. And what I'd also like to say about it is, I think what people really like about this Mandela is it's kind of unusual. It looks like a bursting star and I appreciate that too. This piece is 12 inches by 12 inches, 19 inches overall with the frame, and uh, it normally would go for a price of $193, but tonight it's uh, $154. So on sale tonight for $154, and that's item number one on your catalog, Afterthought. Item number two is called the Texas Wildflower, and I really like the Texas Wildflower. It was one of the very first in a series of wild uh, flowers that I built using the math of nature, I like to say. Um, this piece is a round cut. It is on brushed metal dye bond. It's laser cut, computer controlled laser cut, perfect circle. Um, it adds a little bit to the expense of the piece, but I really think it's worth it, and these round pieces are wonderful. I wanted to show you how the light dances off of that metal, brushed metal appearance. Also, I want to show you real quick, these all do have standoffs. This one stands about a half inch away from the wall. Um, Texas Wildflower is 16 inches by 16 inches, and um, would normally cost $189 if you were to purchase it later, but tonight it's on super sale because I'm selling this piece for $101. Again, this item is number three two. is called I Love Candy, and it's a 12 by 12 inch print on acrylic. What I really like about acrylic, and most people do as well, is the beautiful color saturation you can get with acrylic and the fact that there's a lot of detail in the image as well. So probably for that reason, people spend the extra money on these acrylic prints. This hung as a diamond shape because I like the way it adds more dimension and energy to the piece, but also it takes up a little more wall space. So if you're gonna order a expensive piece like a acrylic, this would be 273. Um, but on sale for 218 tonight. That way you can cover more wall space with less money. Just a beautiful piece. It's one of my favorites when it comes to color and detail. The next piece is piece number four. It's called the Plastic Dream. It's a 36 inch by 36 inch print on foam core. Um, it is very dynamic piece. I love the way the motion happens in this piece. It's early. I think I did this in 2015. I'm playing with color. I'm playing with textures, playing with uh, layering and transparencies. Um, this piece I think would look wonderful with maybe use of the cyan in the corner there as a floating frame, maybe a half inch frame, and I think it would just pop it off the wall. It's beautiful without a frame as well. This piece would normally run at $198, but tonight it's on sale for $156. Item number five is called the X Posture. The X Posture is also printed on that metalized uh, dye bond and I really like the way the light plays off of that so we'll play with that for a second here you can see how it is it, it kind of mesmerizing in a way um, 
This is a 24 by 24 inch print. Um, I have to tell the story about the model in this piece. The model in this piece, I hired her for um, sculpture and her posing was uh, very geometrical and not really what I wanted. I'm, I'm usually looking for a contrapposto and nice curves and, and things like that. She really couldn't do it. I think because she was a bodybuilder that might have had something to do with it. But she really couldn't quite get herself in that kind of a pose. But years later when I was tied up in bed, some of you folks already know the story, I was in a car wreck which actually stopped me from doing painting and uh, sculptures um, and I started messing with these uh, images on my computer and this is where these started. But anyway this piece, uh, X Posture, is uh, one of those pieces. I really like the way this one works. It shimmers and shines, does all kinds of wonderful optical effects with the metal. Itself. X Posture would normally go for $256, but tonight on sale for $198. X Posture. Item number six is called Crack the Whip. Crack the Whip is a premium paper print. It is 14 inches by 14 inches. You see here again, I've hung it uh, in the diamond shape, but it's perfectly fine to hang it square. It's set up to be hung square. Um, it'll be signed and dated and uh, numbered as a limited edition print. Um, the outer dimension with the mat and frame comes to 22 inches. Tonight's price or it normally would cost $327, but tonight's price is $258. Crack the whip item number six. And now we come to item number seven. Item number seven is our giveaway tonight. Item number seven is a 24 inch by 24 inch canvas print, black on white. Um, it's called the dandelion and it to me always amazes me how much this looks like a dandelion going to seed and uh, we've got a lot of entries for this something like 500 and some entries just for this piece so it's uh, a favorite of mine and obviously a favorite of the fans as well so normally this would be 264 dollars but tonight in the giveaway it is free and I want to announce the winner for and so I want to double check my computer here the winner is Chandra Bear Chandra Bear uh, please send me your uh, shipping address I will send you an email to confirm anyway but I need your shipping address and we'll get this off to you as soon as possible thanks Chandra I'm thank uh, I hope you enjoy so the next piece is piece number eight Piece number eight is called Wheel in the Sky. Wheel in the Sky is one of the very first of these mandalas I ever built. Um, this is probably from 2013, somewhere in that neighborhood. Originally it was a black and white image, but I colorized it. And then I added this sky pattern to the background. And when it was all said and done, it just gave me this incredible feeling that uh, it reminded me of a Magritte painting, Rene Magritte, with his floating derbies and things. So it made it even more special to me because I didn't even realize I was doing that. So this piece is 14 inches by 14 inches with a white mat and black frame. It comes to 22 inches overall. Um, the cost of this would normally be $327, but tonight, and tonight only, is $258. Wheel in the Sky. Number nine is a, one of my favorite color pieces as well. Um, I was really happy when I pulled this out of the box with the color that this piece turned out. It is called Front to Back, and it's a metal print. Um, I think only 
acrylic can give you better color saturation and detail than metal, but metal's the close second. I was worried about this color because it's all sorts of pastels and that's what I wanted, but when I pulled it out of the box, the printer nailed it. The colors are just gorgeous. And what I like about it as well is with it being this heavy lacquered surface, um, and the colors still hold a very pastel look. I wanted a real organic or plant feel to the piece, and I think it happened. Um, this is a 16 inch by 16 inch piece, normally $140, so they're a little bit cheaper than the acrylic, but you get a very similar results. But tonight it's on sale for $124. Item 10 is called Quasar. Quasar is a 14 inch print and the overall dimensions are come to 22 inches by 22 inches with the matte frame. Uh, Quasar utilizes the same model and pose as X Posture, but a much simplified design. What I did like about this design is the model who is a bodybuilder, um, her muscles, her back, her waist, her hips, thighs and calves um, undulate back and in and out and as the in the design it starts looking like pulsations of power so I, I think this is a very powerful pose and piece just for that reason I think later added the lighting effect to enhance the pulsation I was feeling from the pose um, and that's where the name quasar comes from quasar is normally $327, but today, uh, to this evening, the price is $258. This piece, number 11, is called Crystal Color. Crystal Color is a 24 inch by 24 inch uh, circle cut on um, acrylic. Again, I love the color in this. It's, it gives it a very decorative feel. This one involved a lot of math, a lot of trigonometry. And I love the way it all came together. It's very light and very fragile looking, but it's a really interesting weave um, that I ended up achieving with this single pose just over and over again. Crystal Color is normally $466, but tonight it's $372. Number 12 is Jump, and it is a 9 inch by uh, 9 inch black and white print in a uh, overall size of 17 inches with the frame and mat. This is kind of a traditional um, mat and frame for traditional photography. Uh, 30 some years ago when I was in college, we were working with 35 millimeter uh, negatives and this is about as big as you could ever make an image without it getting soft because the negative was so small. So then I decided to make these digital prints in a traditional size and matting to give them more of a traditional feel. One of the nice things about them being this size is that they become very personal because you really have to get up close to these to see what's going on, otherwise you would miss it. So, this print, nine inches by nine inches, with a overall size of 17 inches by 17 inches, is normally $240, but tonight, during the sale, it's $192. I'm gonna jump right to item 14, because 14 is a sister piece. 14 is called Jump for Joy, and it was made just about the same time as Jump. It could be bought as a series. They look handsome together. Again, nine inches by nine inches, traditional um, photography style, matting and frame. Um, one of the nice things about these pieces, all these pieces you're seeing tonight, is Ollie will sign them, date them, and number them. They are considered a limited edition. They aren't available in their present form online. These all have non-glare glass, which makes them a little bit easier to read and understand what's going on and 
sign up. The last piece in the show tonight is called Joy in Gold, and it's one of my favorite pieces. It's often a topic of conversation when people are over, and it's, they just feel compelled to stare at it. So it has this mesmerizing um, effect on people. Lots of people think it's licking flames or a vortex of fire. Um, I like those ideas. There's a lot of movement and flow in it. Some folks say as they're looking at it, they almost feel like they're seeing it start to move. And as we do get closer, you can see it's made up of a bunch of leaping and dancing figures. And what I appreciate about it the most is that it is a very handsome piece. It looks good on different walls. I've had it on two or three different walls in different locations, and it always looks wonderful. It is 24 inches by 24 inches. The overall size is 29 inches by 29 inches. It's been professionally matted and framed at a uh, matting store. It has non-glare glass. Again, it'll be signed and numbered by the artist as a limited edition. I hope you, uh, you enjoy this piece. I think if I sell it, I'll have to build a new one because <laughs> I want to keep it where it is. I hope you enjoyed the show tonight because this is the last item up for sale. And uh, we'll be looking forward to the next show in about a month. Have a good evening.